Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lords. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and uh, yeah, I'm having a really good day. I feel positive. I feel very happy and today's video is going to be about season 5, which makes me very, very excited. There's only a couple of days away or kind of like two weeks, three weeks away now until season 5 hits us. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be starting doing some videos uh, talking about what we can expect, the confirmed stuff, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about Season 5 weapons and traps that have pretty much, in one way or another, been kind of confirmed for... Fortnite Battle Royale. So, you know, if you do want all of the information about Season 5, make sure to watch through this video, guys, as it does pose some very important information that you're gonna want to show off to your friends. Uh, but anyway, before we do get into the video, guys, I would like to just announce that I do have a huge $100 Season 5 Battle Pass giveaway going on right now. Basically, I'll be giving away Battle Passes $100 worth to my subscribers and Happy Powers. I've actually collaborated with another YouTuber by the name of Happy Power, and if that sounds interesting and you want to win a free Season 5 Battle Pass, go into the description. At the top right there, there'll be a link. Click on it and it'll give you all of the information on how to actually participate into that. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's actually get into talking about the Season 5 weapons and traps that we can expect in Fortnite Battle Royale. And we're going to be starting off with one that has been rumored for quite a long time. And honestly, I feel like this could be one of the next things that are added into Fortnite Battle Royale in terms of weapons. Uh, so this is the actual P90 submachine gun, right? And I actually have a lot of kind of uh, evidence to support the claim that this could be one of the next machine guns added into the game. And that is totally because Epic are trying to introduce every single weapon to have every single rarity. So for example, you know, the latest weapon that was introduced was the scoped assault rifle. And now we have a purple and a gold version of that weapon. And we also have, you know, a blue one and a green one. Or is it just a blue one and a purple one? Yeah, I think so. But what I was trying to say is that there's never actually been a golden kind of submachine gun. And honestly, I feel like they are trying to get every single weapon to be gold, purple, and blue. And I just think that this P90 could be the next one. I mean, it's been rumored for a while that this has been added into the in-game files. We can see a 3D model of it, which means that, yes, they are actually getting closer and closer to adding it in. So honestly, I feel like Season 5 is the time that they, they will introduce the P90. So yeah, definitely. And of course, you guys would have seen the picture on screen before. It looks like a really good weapon. It's probably going to be one of my favorite kind of weapons to use in the game, especially if it is an actual uh, gold weapon. So yeah, definitely cannot wait for that. Uh, the next one that we're going to be moving on to is one that was uh, rumored quite a long time ago. And uh, this is the Quad Launcher. And uh, a lot of you guys will know about this Quad Launcher. It'll be on screen right now. And uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit like an airstrike laser beam. And uh, that's essentially what it is. It got leaked that this was actually a weapon where it would like kind of transmit a laser to wherever you're pointing it. And after around about five seconds of keeping that laser in that exact kind of uh, spot, there would be around about four or five missiles that come down from the sky and actually land in that spot in a huge radius and uh, yeah I feel like with the recent news that there may be a missile pack coming to the game yeah it is actually very viable that the quad launcher may actually make it into season 5 too so very very excited about that. The next thing that we're going to be moving on to is one that got, I got, it got released a long time ago. It actually got released when Risky Reels was added into the game. And this is the Eye of the Storm backpack. A lot of you guys have probably forgotten about that by now. But yes, this is actually an item that, re that got into the game by accident. I mean, the developers didn't mean to actually add it in. And basically what it is, is that it's a backpack where you can use it on your back, obviously. And you can see where all of the storms are going to be within that game. So you can pretty much plan your route on where you want to go, how you're going to get there, and where you're going to build your base once you actually get into the zones. And it was a very overpowered kind of weapon. I mean, honestly, it's only good for around about half an hour. Like, I mean, if you're not really... Like, you wouldn't use it all through the game, you know? That's the thing about this. Like, you genuinely wouldn't keep this on you in your inventory, wasting a spot all through the game. Because if you could see exactly where every single hey, kind of, uh, I guess, zone would end, all you have to do is remember that, put off the backpack, and go into the zone. You know, you pretty much know exactly where you want to go. Uh, so, yeah, they actually took it out of the game because they had to work on it a little bit. And obviously, it didn't look the way they wanted it to look. 
But uh, yeah, I just think this is going to make a return and uh, it's going to be a little bit more better and it'll be a little bit more, I guess, refined in terms of like, you know, if you do not keep it on you throughout the game, maybe you don't get to see exactly where all of the uh, kind of things are in the game, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going off course here, but you kind of get the gist, guys. It's coming season five. 100% guaranteed, I bet you. Now, other than that, we do have another backpack with, that was leaked from the in-game files. I leaked it around about a month or two ago, I think now. And that is the Medic Backpack. This is actually a backpack which interests me quite a lot. And I really, really want these to add into the game because I really want it. It's basically a backpack where you have defibrillators on it and if your teammate gets downed you can instantly revive them there's no like kind of you know wait five seconds or ten seconds to revive it is pretty much an instant revive for your teammates now it has been rumored that this backpack can also be used to revive yourself so for example if you do get downed it's a one-time use where you know you can like kind of use the defibrillator or use something to hit yourself and the uh, next minute boof you're back up, you're ready to go into battle. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to see how they're going to work that into this game because it is a very overpowered weapon, but I can imagine that this particular backpack would be a gold variant. So yeah, I, I reckon there would only be allowed about one or two uses to this actual backpack itself. So very, very excited to get my hands on that in Season 5. Now, another thing that has been rumored and it actually got leaked around about two or three weeks ago was the tire fall trap. It'll probably be on screen right now. And uh, as you can see, this is actually from Save the World, you know, and uh, the developers of Fortnite Battle Royale do take a lot of kind of inspiration from their, you know, sister counterpart, which is Save the World. And this particular trap is a pretty cool one. I mean, you know, it's basically, it, you can put it onto the ceilings and when people walk underneath it, it releases these kind of tires to crush you. And um, judging by all of the nerfs that they've been doing lately to the traps, the spike traps, I think it's been a long time due that we get a brand new trap in this game. And for dudes, this is kind of similar to like, you know, the spike trap or something. But, I don't know, I would love to see this added into the game. If not, I would love to see some sort of trap where it was like a bucket of glue. And basically what would happen is that you could put it on the ceiling, or you can put it on the floor. When people walk in, they get stuck in place for around about a good... 10 seconds or maybe even five seconds so that let's say for example you're in a house you put it up on the roof somebody walks in the glue falls on them and they're stuck in place they can't move basically you can come outside of where you're hiding and you get a couple of free shots on them i think that would actually be a pretty cool legendary trap to add into the game i would think that'd be pretty awesome actually so yeah very interesting indeed i mean if you guys agree or disagree with me on these by the way feel free to comment down below i mean obviously you guys are not gonna agree on everything i say and that's okay you know if you have different opinions comment them down below because that is what these kind of videos are for you know uh, but anyway, we're going to move on to the last thing that has been rumored for Season 5, or leaked, I guess. And this is pretty new, actually. And uh, this is the Missile Pack. And uh, you guys know about the homing missile launcher, you know, the one that got re removed from the game pretty early on. Well, it looks like, due to recent uh, kind of recent leaks, this may actually make a return into Fortnite Battle Royale. And I'm actually very excited about this because I genuinely kind of liked it, but... I wish they would have kind of worked on it a little bit more before releasing it. Uh, but yeah, like, it said, like I said, you know, it was leaked around about two or three days ago now that they, they, this missile pack has been updated to say that it's a homing missile launcher that you, works as a backpack. And uh, the kind of, uh, I guess, the tagline for it, like, you know, where it says like, oh, all new submachine gun, blah, blah, blah. Well, this one is, it's back. So, you know, it's pretty apparent that this may actually be the missile launcher that we had a couple of weeks ago in Fortnite Battle Royale, making a return in, in the form of a backpack. So very interesting indeed. Uh, but anyway, guys, I would like to say thank you very much for watching today's video. Tell me in the comment section below, what is your favorite weapon or trap or thing that you want to be added into Season 5? I know there's a couple of things like Fire 50 Calif being leaked and everything, which I am definitely going to cover in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out on the channel, guys. Do not forget to turn on notifications and subscribe. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out that uh, kind of Season 5 uh, Battle Pass giveaway in the description too. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. And until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see you.